Community Paduans Francisco here from Connect Dots. After the first introductory episode and somehow failing with the consistency that I want to bring to this project uh, by not sharing a little bit of the journey for some weeks, I'm back with another chapter of the Diary of a Community Builder. For those who haven't seen the first episode, I'm currently working on the creation of a community-driven brand Focus on creating a global community around the sport of trail running, making it the greatest sport in the world. For this week's episode, I want to bring you the main mistakes I made during a process that started about a year ago. And let me tell you that throughout the, build, the building journey, there were already some ups and downs, especially due to procrastination. But there is one small quote that helped me during this last year that keeps me with my passion, drive, energy to make this happen. More than just focus on the idea, I'm focused on the vision. And for me, the purpose is really, really, really clear. Just to tell you a little bit more about how it all started, a year ago, I decided to create a Strava group called Twitter Running Group where some running friends that I met on this platform gathered and we were trying to push each other every week. A few months later, I've asked them, what about moving to a different platform where we can interact more and share other type of, um, of content? And um, all of them said, well, why not? Let's try. I've spent then a few weeks working on a website, created a Slack channel and launched the Journey Endurance Club inviting directly some of those running friends and using Twitter as the main tool to get new members. The onboarding process was really, really simple. Website, asking potential members to submit the form, sharing name and email address. Then through MailChimp, I would send a personalized message to every member, inviting them to join Slack. We got members from Portugal, France, Germany, the UK, the US, Hungary, and some other countries in a total of around 25 people. Then I started to write some blog posts, organize some community talks with some amazing uh, athletes such as Ricky Gates, Hilary Allen, Anna Mae Flynn, Carl Meltzer. And we also started a series called The Journey Stories with the goal of sharing our members' stories. But now, what about now? What I believe I did uh, wrong. These are the main mistakes I believe I made uh, during the past year. Mistake number one, there was not enough research or just like Rosie Sherry uh, says, there was not enough time I've spent during um, the discovery, the community discovery trying to understand more about the industry, the main trends, where, where are the gaps, the value that people is looking for to get when joining a community, the past and the present. Surround myself with my people. And to solve this, it's all about starting conversations. It's all about interacting with people, position myself and to be the go-to person in everything related to the sport of trail running and to the experience. The goal right now is to restart small, really focus on community discovery stage and plan an MVC, a minimum viable community. Using this time, Instagram, which is the place where I feel more trail runners are and interact more. For October, we are already preparing our first physical event that will also serve as a test to some, to some of the things that we want to do in the future. So this is mistake number one. I didn't spend enough time doing community uh, discovery, community research. Mistake number two, by, um, by not doing number one, I should have worked on creating a real strategy. There was no real action plan. And if there's a tip I can give you, don't create events or organize programs just because of course, there's a process of trail and error, but when you do something, do it because you have some assumptions that you want to, to test and look to achieve a specific end goal. Mistake number three, 
Sometimes I question myself, is Slack the best tool for the community that I'm trying to create in the experience we want members to have? Again, a good community discovery, researching, understanding what members want will help you choose the best tool. The second tip is if you want to start your own community, please don't waste your time choosing what's the best tool. The best tool will again depend on the goals that you want to achieve, the experience, the content that you want to create. And because of this, this will be one of the last decisions that we'll take. Okay, so don't spend in the beginning of the process, don't spend much time looking for the best tool. Mistake number four, last and obviously not the least, what I believe was the main mistake, lack of consistency. At start, you should be the one to show up every day, create engagement, interact with members, connect them with each other, bring value. Do not expect members to be super users from day one. And if that happens, you are a really lucky person. You need to show them what's the behavior you expect from them. You need, you need to give them reasons to come, return, get value and give value. Just like some experts say, members will come for the content and stay for the community. This is it for the second episode, second chapter of the Diary of a Community Builder. I would love to know your opinion, your feedback on this. And if you have any suggestions or questions, please just let me know on the comment section below. If you'd like me to talk more about the specific topic, you are more than welcome to suggest. Don't forget to share with your community friends. Don't forget to subscribe and see you on the next episode.